We're going to make ourselves a little custom Ethernet cable action. All right. Actually, we talked about it earlier. Look at that. This is a functional Ethernet cable, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a very tiny Q-tip size Ethernet cable. I don't know if we can even get that to show up. My shirt is so bright and so ugly, but this is actually... You know, that cable is a little short. It's a little short. <laughs> is there really a use for a cable that's that short? I, I have no idea, <laughs> but we know it functions because we use it to plug two hubs in. So Oh, well, there you go. Here's yeah. the thing. First thing you want to do is you're going to start off with a... Oh, boy, this is going to hurt me. Ow. We'll start off with a fresh end of cable here. Okay. All right. This is a crimping tool. Crimping tools are amazing. If you look at a crimping tool, you want one that will actually crimp the RJ45, and it should also have some stuff in there to clip it off. Is it RJ45 specific? Could I use it for the phone jack as well? The RJ45? Some will actually do both RJ11 and RJ45. 11? Some will actually only do... So you uh, look in the tool and see what's capable of. Yeah, it actually should say there on so the So you're box. stripping off the uh, outside. How much should I strip off? About an inch? About an inch. You can actually measure it up against the size of the RJ45. I feel like Bob connector. Vila. You know, you so look Norm. like Bob Vila. If you just grew a beard, Leo. <laughs> so Norm is now stripped off the outside uh, layer there. It's, it's better than feeling like Marlon Perkins. My able assistants <laughs> will now attempt to tranquilize the rhino with a small dart on the Mutual end of the Mutual of Omaha offers Ethernet protection. All right, so the next thing you got to do, once you do that, we're actually going to show you what you're doing that, you're going to even the end. What you've stripped the sheath off. Do we need to strip the uh, the little wires within as well? You actually don't need to, because that'll actually be cut inside there. That's part of the crimp process. That's part of the crimping process. So we're actually going to even those up. So you, that's the snipper. He's that's snipping. the snipper. So we've okay. snippered. Okay. Now, now we need a. Uh, uh, Jack. So we actually have here, this is a link to a, a page on the Linksys website. This is great. This thing's been cut and pasted all over the web. It's this a wiring diagram. Exactly. We got orange, white, we got orange, we got green, white, we got to do blue next. You got to do these in the right order, folks. Technically, it might not make a difference with a straight through cable, but if you want to do a crossover cable, it gets real important. Because so then you're sw swapping the transmit and receive. Exactly. We've got green, white, we've got blue, we've got blue, white. And this is the part, this is I where I understand, it gets though. How are you putting them in order? What are you doing? You're twisting well, them? Well, watch it. Let me see if we can get a close up shot of that. It's, it's truly impossible to see, but you're going you to need smaller it. thumbs. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, yeah. blue, white, green. Oh, you're actually putting them in order? Yeah. And Holy then brown, moly. white, and then brown. Is oh, that not amazing? Goodness. Wow. Once you've done that, you're going to take one of those. Where'd they go? We don't have any RJ45. Are we out of RJ? There oh, we go. there's a whole pile. It's always good to have Under a the pile taxes. of RJ45 connectors around. And you can buy these at any electronics supply store as with the crimper and the bare Cat5 wire, the cable that you'll need. We're going to even this off a little again. Well, you know, isn't it just cheaper just to go out and buy a cable? Well, it depends. You know what? That, that's 100 feet right there, and that'll run you about 25 bucks coming uh, from Radio Shack. So if you're going to do a long cable, better to make your own. Yeah, and actually, it depends on where you're buying them. Some places, it's really hard. It can get really expensive. If somebody's spending $45 for a 25-foot cable, What's the nominal limit on the length of an Ethernet cable? Uh, well, I've, uh, you know, I have no idea. But we actually have a thousand foot roll of Ethernet cable. <laughs> that might be a little long. All right, let me show them one last thing. Once you've got all gonna the... We're going to crimp it. We're going to crimp it. You insert the socket in there. Listen, put yep. it up to your next to your microphone so we can hear the bone crunching click. There we go. Wow. That was that it. That was powerful. And we actually plug it in and use it as an Ethernet cable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just easy. that simple. Directions for having to do a crossover cable, which will let you connect to... Well, two computers directly together at a hub up on the screensavers.com. Go there now. Here's the step by steps cut to the desired length. Yeah. Strip the other outer sheets. Just keep going. We only got 15 seconds. Even, Even up, up the other ends. ends. Arrange the, the pin out. <laughs> Thread the yard. That's it. Screensavers. I'm Leo Laporte. And I'm Jordan. Thanks for joining us.